my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a revamp my closet video, a thrift flip if you want to call it that. Um, but basically I'm taking some old clothes out of my closet and revamping it. So during this quarantine I've been extra, 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 extra bored. Like extremely bored to the point where it's just like bothering me mentally so <laughs> i've been going through my stuff because i'm like my style has changed a little bit and this is stuff that i'm just never gonna wear again so i've been going through my things and picking out some stuff to revamp so i have a few pieces of clothing that i also thrifted like 89 percent of my closet I got some pieces that are sort that are thrifted that I've had for a while that I'm not gonna wear again. So I'm gonna just, you know, go off the dome and create something cute out of it. And if it don't So yeah. Um so these are just a few pieces that I've thrifted. So this is like an under five dollar type of thrift flip if you want to look at it as a thrift flip but this is also something you could do to anything in your closet so here's how I revamped my closet um yeah I, I'm about to show y'all what I did so for this first like crew neck type hoodie I am going to measure out where exactly I want to cut it it has a stain so I sort of wanted to get rid of that so what I do first is I place it on the ground and I find a spot that'll be perfect for me and I cut straight across. So as you guys see here, sometimes I like to flip my, um, you know, material over to measure it out perfectly on the other side, just in case I don't cut it off stupid, because sometimes you could cut it shorter on one side than the other, so it's best to be safe. If not, and you want to be risky, just do what I did and just cut straight across, or you could just do this. <laughs> Once you have your completed cut fabric, you just turn it inside out. And what I'm gonna do with my little pins is, you know, flip over the fabric at the end that we just cut and pin it down all the way around. And once we do that, you sew along where you have your pins, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can just see me here placing the pins and then I sew. This would be the completed look of the pinning. And then when I go into my sewing machine, I'm going to sew, but make sure you leave one little spot open so you can thread through this elastic. So with the elastic, what I do first is I measure it around my, the area where I'm gonna be using it. And then I place this safety pin through on one side on the fabric where it's not going through. And then I pin the other side down too with a safety pin and that is the part that I'm going to thread through the material. And once it gets all the way back around to the spot that is open, I take it out and then I sew it together. So after I sew the elastic together, what I do is I cut that extra strings, you know, and then I pull my fabric so that it goes back into the little part that I sewed down. And then once I get it back in there, I push that piece down and I sew over it again so it can close up the, um, you know, the opening. And then that gives it a really, really clean, finished, professional look. And that's about it. That's all I do for this. Yeah. 
and this would be the finished look of my cute little cropped sweater it has literally became one of my favorites with this one my brother actually thrifted this christian dior flannel for me and i decided to turn it into a two-piece and what you see me doing now is just buttoning down and measuring out where i want to cut because i'm actually going to turn this into a two-piece As you saw in the beginning, I measured between two buttons where I was going to cut, which would be perfect for my fit. And like I did the first thing, I'm cutting straight across. So with the top half, after I finish cutting it, I already know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to do like the scrunch top effect like I did the other top. And I'm just going to flip this inside out and pin all the way around the shirt as I did the first thing. So since there will be a button in the way, what I'm going to do is just pin right up under the button. And I'm going to use that as my opening for my elastic. So I'm just going to pin everything else around the button, you know, the usual way, and then sew right around them. So basically, I will sew everything but around the button. Then I'm going to do that same thing that I did for the first top and thread it right through right after I measure my elastic. So for the skirt, it's super simple. Just make sure it is not too short on you before you do the elastic. But basically I'm going to pin down the um, fabric on the side that I would like it on all the way around and sew that all the way around as well. And then as I did with the top, I'm gonna measure my elastic around my waist and then thread that through. What I love about this outfit so much is that I kept some buttons and I used that to make a slit in my skirt and Honestly, I can wear this as an outfit or as a beach fit, so I am in love with it. For this outfit, I've had it for a long time. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it, but I'm going to turn it into a two-piece set as well. So, like I did the first two-piece, I'm measuring where it'll be nice, cutting straight across. And once I finish cutting straight across, I'm going to do the same thing with the top. Except, this time, I'm not going to fold it under but I'm going to create more so of a ruffle look or at least a try of a ruffle look. So with this one, you're just going to take the elastic, measure it around yourself and sew it together in a circle. So once I sew all of it, you know, together, I'm gonna place it around my top, pin it down in certain spots and then sew those spots that I had pinned down. And this is going to create the illusion of a ruffle. But in my case, it was sort of a fail. So <laughs> you guys are going to see. But it still created sort of a ruffle. And I'm just pulling the fabric and placing it where it needed to be. And as you guys can see, after I sewed certain spots down, I decided to add more spots that I wanted um, to be sewn down as well to create like more ruffles. And yeah, I'm just doing the same thing, pulling the elastic, measuring it out on the top, pinning it and sewing where it was pinned. So just to give y'all the idea, if you're confused, I'm not sewing all the way around the elastic. I'm only sewing in the parts that I pinned. Just 
So for the bottom half of the top, I decided to turn these into shorts. And what I'm doing now is placing a pair of shorts that fits me very good on top of the fabric. And I'm going to use this as, you know, a template. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the outline of the outside of my shorts, as you see me doing now. Just cutting it straight across. And then once I get that, I'm going to take my shorts off of them flip it over and cut the other side the same exact way Once you cut both sides, you're going to open it back up and then you're going to flip it inside out. And once you flip it inside out, you're going to pin the outside um, of the shorts. It's really hard to explain, but you guys are going to see me do it. But I'm going to pin both sides down. And after I pin both sides down, I'm going to sew them right across each way that I pin down. And once I sew those spots, I'm also going to cut slits into the little, the smaller area of the short. I did not get to show y'all in the beginning part about the slits, but once I take the fabric and pull it out to sort of create that shorts look, you're going to see that I'm basically cut the slits to create the crotch area. And once I flip them to where it looks like shorts I'm gonna pin down the crotch area and then sew right around it once I finish sewing down that crotch area I'm going to take the top part of the shorts and fold it over as I do all the other things <laughs> where I need to create you know a waistline or you know for it to be tighter to fit me I pin around the shorts area per usual and then I sew that straight around and do not forget to leave an opening to thread through the elastic. And this is my finished look. Here are my sorry looking ruffles, which I was talking about, but it doesn't look bad. And if you don't like the ruffles, you could just, you know, tuck it under and, you know, make it work. So this is a shirt that I got from the little kids section at the thrift store and I thought it was like really cute. It was just a little tight on so I decided to turn this into a top like a tube top and this is super easy. All I'm doing is cutting off the sleeves and cutting straight across where the sleeves you know end. Once I cut off basically the entire top half of the shirt and turned it into a tube shape, I'm going to flip both sides inside out um, and then sew the outsides down. But first I'm going to pin them, so don't forget to pin because if you don't pin, your fabric's going to go everywhere. But as you can see me doing now, I'm flipping it inside out, lining it up with each other, pinning it down, and then I'm going to sew it all the way down on each side. I also did not feel the need to have to pin down the top or the bottom to sew it under because honestly I like to flip it over and tuck it in if it doesn't look you know raggedy it can still look really clean without it being sewn down and this is the finished look super cute super easy and one of my favorite little throw on tops and please ignore my little deodorant stains y'all <laughs> 
And for this last outfit, which is my all-time favorite, I took a shirt that I thrifted so long ago and I'm going to turn it into a two-piece. So this time I wanted a tube top as the top half and I'm basically taking a top that I already have and using that as a template and I'm cutting around. And make sure when you cut, you're not cutting as close to your template as possible because that is not going to leave you any sewing room so try to make it like a lot bigger than what your top is as you guys can see you'll see as i cut how much bigger i'm making it but just as i did the um the ralph lauren top i'm cutting off the sleeves and the collar and just turning it into a tube top Once I got my tube top shape, I'm going to flip them inside out as I did just a minute ago with the Ralph Lauren top. And I am just going to sew down both sides first. And then I'm gonna pin down the top and the bottom of the top. And I'm gonna sew those around as well. But when I sew those, I made sure that I kept an opening because I'm gonna add elastic, which is gonna give that scrunch look. So with creating this scrunched look, do not forget to measure your elastic at the top of your bust and the bottom of it so that um, you can have it looking neat and seamless and fitted for your tube top. With this bottom half, I am also turning into shorts. So I have a different pair of shorts that fit a lot differently than the last um, pair of shorts I use but I'm doing the same thing that I did last time so it's no need for me to explain it you guys can just see what I did um, I'm just cutting around it again and you know following all the other steps you guys will see once you know I do everything <laughs> For this outfit, I didn't think it was too necessary to sew down the top half of the shorts because it was super clean and seamless already and it was easy to tuck in and tuck under, you know, shorts or anything you wear under them and it could still look good that way so I just kept it the way it was. And this is my finished look. This is honestly my favorite outfit ever and yeah, that is it. So we have reached the end of this video. 
that is all I got for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming to my channel once again. Love y'all. I will see y'all next time in the next video. See ya. Bye. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.